Hello and welcome to yet another video of a painting guys. Today we are going to talk about skin tones and how they are less skin tones than more skin texture. We all got these paint bottles that say that they are skin tones, but let's be honest, using them doesn't make the skin you paint more realistic. Also they don't give you any clue about how to paint colored skin and I'm not talking about your average colored skin, I'm talking about some green or hot pink. Actually, it's more like a boring bubblegum pink. Anyways, for color choice, I suggest that you use a really basic color scheme that fits your main tone, just to get it out of the way. First, you want to lay down a foundation to work up from in the later stages of painting. This foundation includes a base coat, basic volumetric highlight, top, brighter than bottom, and the basic color scheme you chose. I am using an airbrush, but rattle cans or a regular brush also do the trick since you don't want to achieve anything fancy in this stage. Now that you got all your base work laid down, you can focus on the textures of skin. Skin is not completely opaque. When you hold a torch behind your hand, you notice that skin is actually pretty transparent. That's something you want to imitate. I went for the approach of many imperfect semi-translucent layers on top of each other. Think less about what you want to fix, but more about how to add to your paint jobs and how to build up these sweet, sweet highlights. In the next step, you will add a filter of red to the whole skin. A filter being a really diluted paint, even more than a wash. This will knock back the highlights a bit but it will make the skin look so much more natural and diverse because it imitates the blood that flows with under the skin. And bringing the highlights back up again gives you a chance to deal with the inaccuracies you made when applying them the first time. The last step is to choose a color that is really off your color scheme. Thin it down really, really much and add it as a filter to some of the less interesting parts of the skin. This will make your paint job just a tad more interesting without a huge time investment. After this you can fix some of the mistakes you left purposefully unfixed before. For me these mistakes were some brighter colors I got onto my shadows. By blocking out all the non-skin colors, you can see how much well-painted skin improves your overall paint job. And how finished the paint job looks, even if only the skin is fully painted. And when the whole mini is painted, it looks... <coughs>